Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Sarah. And here we are in the lovely Denver, Colorado, uh, and we're going to give you our video recap of our third class in our all, all Levels Drag Blues Boot Camp in June of 2012. In this class, we gave you some more complicated patterns that brought together the content we did earlier uh, in classes one and two, namely side catches and promenades. The first thing we did was what we called Joe's side catch to promenade. The idea was that it was just a, tr a very quick transition between these two movements, and it looks like this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, from another angle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's about a six count pattern. And the idea is, uh, leads, when we're in the side catch, we're going to step to the, um, out of the follows line, and we're going to be immediately ready to catch them with our right hand. So as they're turning, we replace the hand, we just, we pivot on our one standing foot, and we wait for the follow to be ready to step, and we step together. So it doesn't really have to happen right at six. Yeah, so, so you wait for the follow to be ready to step, but you go as soon as she's ready. So we don't, so we're not pausing like this. And follows, uh, we're bringing our arm up very carefully, like how I described in the previous video. So just rolling our shoulders back and bringing our arm up carefully not to hit the fall. <laughs> and it's really important leads that you get that uh, strong connection across the follows back right away to give them the signal that we're changing from a rotational direction into a linear direction. Uh, leads, we also talked about a little leg embellishment as opposed to just pivoting on that one foot. Uh, we can prep and we then let this twist in our bodies unravel ourselves and step. Uh, and we'll do that, uh, do that from this uh, position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Uh, the second movement that we talked about, the second pattern, uh, was Ocho's out of the side catch. Uh, and that looked like this. And then we could do these ochos. Okay. So, uh, leads, remember you're sending the follow down the line again, but now you're going to be stepping onto the other side of, of the follows line. Uh, and follows, when we're turning, we're keeping our arms available. So, in general, when we're not connected to our lead, we want our arms easily available so the lead can decide how to connect. And so on this pattern, so one, two, three, four, five, we've connected in this two-handed open connection. And on six, I'm continuing uh, with my torso, even though I'm not stepping. Six, which is allowing the follow to step and bringing us into Ocho's. Um. Okay, so then the, the way he's leading the Ocho's is by his chest movement. So let's... Okay. So, okay. Right, so what we do is we turn our chest, okay, and then we move our chest to, to bring the follow to step, okay? Or we could also step as well leads. But these is, this is a two-step process. So turn, step, turn, step, turn step. And you can smooth it out, but you want to make sure that these are distinct movements because we can play around with that and do something like going into backwards ochos instead. Um, also, as far as turning, it's, leads, it's your responsibility to, as always, respect the follow's axis as she's, she's turning and not to pull her, pull her off of it. And for these, these pivots, uh, the follow's ability to pivot really depends on what the floor is and her shoes. So if the fall is having trouble pivoting, then either you need to help her turn more or you need to decide that it's not the appropriate place to do these. Yes. Uh, and follows, we can add some embellishments onto the ochos with our free leg. Uh, so we step, when we step across, then this leg is free and we can just relax it and let it swing around. So when the lead turns us, we can let it relax into this movement. 
onto holding onto a door or, or a person or something, you can practice swinging your leg and just letting it move about freely and that'll help you do these movements naturally. Great. Um, so then from this pattern, we had two exits of sorts, um, one of which was a side, a side dip, which looked like this. So remember, uh, we leads, we give the follow a little extra energy to spin, but re respecting her axis, and we step up right next to her, and we get this cuddle, and then we can just step to the side, just a little bit. Uh, the second thing we could do uh, is... But, but when you do that pivot, really make sure that you're keeping the follow above her axis, otherwise it won't go smooth. The second thing, from this same uh, same position, leads. We can let go of our right hand, and then we take one step forward. And we reconnect follow. Now that this is nice and open, and then we can can go back into promenades from or go forward into promenades, uh, bringing in the content from the earlier classes, and you can loop all of these these up. Uh, we also mentioned that you could do backward ochos, and you can play around with that. Just uh, your chest movement would be very similar. That's great. All right, so that was class three. Uh, see you in the next one.